What's up my pre-calc people? I'm Michael Prentek and I'm ready to talk to you about how you are going to master AP pre-calculus this year. Now, this is only the second year of the AP Precalculus course. Last year in 2024, their scores were awesome. About 184,000 students took the test worldwide, and worldwide the mean score was 3.42 with a 75.7% passage rate, making it one of the highest passage rates of all AP math courses. But in specific regions of the United States, scores were even higher. For example, in the state of Ohio, the passage rate was 91.5% with the mean score 4.05. Those types of scores for a large region like Ohio are unheard of, which means that you could do really well on the test this year. I promise. Now, a lot of students are wondering, does this mean the test was curved a lot? Actually, no. The test is pretty difficult with very little partial credit given. On multiple choice, it's either wrong or it's right. On the FRQs, you're going to be pretty spot on with your answers if you want to get any of the credit. So what this does mean is that across the world, a lot of students did really, really well. And well, that means you could do really, really well too. Now, does this mean that it's easy to have to study? Absolutely not. The test is actually quite difficult, but it's all about how you prepare. And that's what I'm going to make sure you're going to be ready for in this video. Now, who is capable of taking AP Precalculus? Well, to be honest, anybody that has successfully completed Algebra 2 is ready to be successful in AP Precalculus, I promise you. Now, AP Precalculus provides students with an understanding of the concepts of college algebra, trigonometry, and additional topics to prepare students for future college level of mathematics courses. So if you plan on going to college and taking anything that's going to require math courses, AP Precalculus is for you. And this course is going to really make sure that you're ready for those college level classes. Before you start AP Precalculus, College Board has actually laid out a couple prerequisite skills that you should be familiar with, not perfect with, but familiar with, in order to make sure that you're prepared. So let's talk about what those prerequisite skills are right now. Proficiency with the skills and concepts related to linear and quadratic functions, including solving equations and solving inequalities. Proficiency in manipulating algebraic expressions related to polynomial functions. Proficiency in solving right triangle problems involving trigonometry. Proficiency in solving systems of equations, familiarity with piecewise functions, familiarity with exponential functions and rules of exponents, familiarity with radicals, both square roots and cube roots, familiarity with complex numbers, and familiarity with communicating in reasoning among graphical, numerical, analytical, and verbal representations of functions. If you are okay, again, you don't have to be perfect, but if you are okay with those skills, then you're going to be perfectly ready to tackle AP Precalculus. Now, what I've created for you is one massive prerequisite skills document that gives you practice over all of those skills that I just mentioned. All you have to do to access that document is head on over to the ultimate review packet for AP Precalculus. The link is provided in the description of this video below. Now, this is all free. You gain access to that document and the answer key to that document. I've also made tons of videos that walk you through how to solve those problems just in case you have any difficulty with them. Now, if you can master these prerequisite skills, trust me, you're going to be ready for AP Precalculus. Now, if you like this prerequisite skills practice, you're going to love the ultimate review packet because inside the ultimate review packet, I got study guides for every single topic in every single unit. There are three enormous units in AP Precalculus and I got study guides for every single topic inside of those units, as well as answer keys, practice videos, practice multiple choice. And I even got two full length practice AP exams. That way, when you are ready to study for the AP exam in May, you have everything you need. So please check it out with the description below. I think it's going to have everything you need to be successful in AP Precalculus this year. So I hope you're ready for AP Precalculus. And trust me, if you successfully completed Algebra 2, you are ready for AP Precalculus. With a little bit of work, a little bit of effort, you're going to be just fine. All right, head on over to the Ultimate Review Packet using the link in the description below and gain access to that prerequisite skills document, and you'll be ready to start class this year.